BC Ferries is reporting a 20-year low in passenger traffic. Vehicle traffic is at an 11-year low. Blame the strong Canadian dollar and economic uncertainty, uncertainty rather, in the U.S. Meanwhile, 400,000 cruise ship passengers this year will help boost the local economy, making Victoria the largest cruise ship port in Canada. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports. BC ferry traffic is way down. That may be due to a high U.S. debt ceiling, high U.S. unemployment. In fact, financial troubles of many kinds south of us. That means the ferries are losing $20 million. I think there's a, a lack of confidence in the stock market. I think people are scared about how they manage their own money. The drop in ferry traffic has been noted on all routes, big and small, and the figures show both vehicle and passenger traffic down about 4%. That's $20 million less in BC Ferry revenues. Meanwhile, rates have increased from about $30 in 1991 to over $75 today, island to mainland car driver and passenger. You have to look at what's happened with the price of fuel. I'd have to pick that out, but since 2004, our fuel bill's gone up $80 million a year. And at the ferry terminal, Jim from Montana compares his American breakfast with breakfast in Victoria, and Linda from D.C. doesn't mind an equal dollar. Breakfast was like nine dollars and that included coffee and no tax. <laughs> Same breakfast this morning was 17 bucks when I got finished. It's pretty close to equal so I don't really pay much attention to it. I just I just think of it a dollar a dollar. I don't I don't worry about it. While BC ferries may be struggling there's another shipping line, lines actually, that are doing just fine and welcome their four millionth passenger at Victoria's Ogden Point today. As the Amsterdam ties up in Victoria, a Florida couple is about to get a surprise. He's a retired aviation worker and she a retired hotel industry executive. Grace Fernari is the four millionth cruise ship passenger to visit Victoria since the count began in 1979. That must make her husband Raymond the four millionth and first cruise ship passenger to step ashore. Were you surprised, Grace? Very much so. Very honored also. How do you like Victoria? You've been here before? Yes, I have been, and it's a lovely city. It's a very beautiful city we've been here before, looking forward to the flowers and things. The couple from Daytona Beach, Florida, will be treated to a tour of Fort Rod Hill Park, the Fairmont Empress Hotel, Butchard Gardens, Undersea Gardens, and shopping. The Victoria Harbor Authority won't say how much money the cruise ships bring to Victoria. That's confidential, but... In terms of uh, number of calls, number of passengers, we have the narrow distinction of being the busiest uh, cruise port of call in Canada. As for Grace and Ray, off in the Daimler to visit Victoria again, royally hosted this time.